Hi there, it's Laura here from iHeart Planners, and today I want to share with you about one of my favorite kitchen tools called Prep Deck that you may not have heard of before. And before I dive in, take a quick second, give this video a thumbs up if you like these kitchen gadget reviews, and be sure to hit subscribe. Oh, and if you hear any background noise, my four-year-old is here today helping me prep lunch, so that's what that is. Um, he loves helping out. So this is an all-in-one tool that helps you stay organized and streamlines your meal prepping process and also just keeps everything at your fingertips. Now, first of all, it's designed to look nice on the counter. It doesn't take up too much space. It's also very lightweight, which I love. They have different designs of covers that you can get to kind of go with your decor. I leave mine out on the counter sometimes, but a lot of times I actually put it in my lower cabinet and if I turn it this direction, it slides right in so it only takes up like 10 inches of space in there and it fits in the depth perfectly with the handles and how lightweight it is. It's super easy to take out since I am like a super counter minimalist. If you're not, you probably just want to leave it out on your counter. It opens up like this. This is a cutting board so it doubles as a cutting board and then it also detaches magnetically. And then these are a bunch of different containers to keep things organized, these little tiny ones for like oils or spices. It also has this whole tool set that pulls out that I'll review in a second, which is, in my opinion, this tool set is part of the magic of this system. Because everything I need, cheese grating, herb stripping, peeler, slicer, everything is right at my fingertips. And this one is simply empty um, and it's designed to where if you wanted to just kind of put your kitchen trash right in there as you go, kind of scrape it in there, you could do that. So let me first show you how this detaches so easily. It's a magnet. I love, love, love that. Um, and it goes back on so easily, so it's super easy to clean. That was one of my biggest concerns before I got it, and I've been shocked how quick and easy it is to clean. Then it comes with several of these containers. One thing I love is that they left no detail out of, you know, they thought of every single little thing. It has little grooves to where it actually slides right in and stays in place. So these stay really neat and tidy. And they have lids so that if you wanted to, you could just store your item in your fridge or wherever, just like this. Um, the lids fit on nicely, they're fairly tight. And then there's also measurements on here. So if you wanted to go ahead and measure, there's a couple, well, there's actually five of this size, but then some of them have little inserts on the top. So these have these cute little double insert. So you can put little smaller things in there. And then we also have a couple of the flat inserts like this. So you can set those to the side while you're cooking or just leave them on here like this. So it really keeps everything compact and super duper organized as you're cooking. Now, let me review my favorite, favorite part for you. This was a total game changer in the kitchen for me personally. So, what we have here is their little gadgets. And let me show you how cool these are. These are just so cool. So first of all, here is their juicer. Now, each one of these gadgets fits perfectly right on their containers. And that is the total beauty of this system. Everything's right there and it fits right on the containers and you can even measure it right in here. So really everything you need is at your fingertips. I've honestly enjoyed meal prepping a lot more since I got this for that very reason. I wanna also take a second to mention that I think it pairs amazingly well with those meal delivery kits. This is every plate, my, my personal favorite, but I've tried many and it just pairs so well. Like you've got all your ingredients right there. You have everything you need to prep it right at your fingertips. If you're looking for a gift for someone who's getting married or having a baby or just some, you know, has a lot going on, I think pairing like a gift receipt to one of these meal delivery kits with one of these would be totally amazing. Or of course, just get one for yourself. Now let me keep talking about what these are. This is the herb. Stripper, I think this is a bottle opener, I'm not sure. And then a julienne and a peeler right here. So again, everything you need. Next up, we have this wide grater. So I just 
This is one I probably use quite a bit. And before this, I was honestly too lazy to grate cheese because I had to get out my grater and it was bigger and it's harder to wash. This one's so easy to wash because it's so flat and it just fits right on there. And then I love how everything stores so compactly. Next, I'll show you the other two tools that we have in here. This is the fine grater, so it just, you know, if you wanted to grate something really fine, you could do that. And last but not least, we have our slicer. So if you want to like slice up an onion or something like that, you could totally do that. So that's what we have here. Oh, also I should mention for the cheese graters and things like that, or even the slicer, one of the things that is so amazing, and I'm gonna leave this on, I think I'm gonna use it, is this is a, the food pusher. So, you know, you don't wanna get your knuckles and it allows you to get down to the bottom. It fits right on there and just glides. And it's super easy to wash because it comes apart like this. So no problems there, which if you can't tell, things being easy to clean is super high on my priority list. So that's one of the things that I love and it's all just right there at my fingertips. So I'm just gonna set it off to the side here and I'm gonna just dive in to making one of these every plate meals for you and show you how easy it truly is. So it says that first I need to chop up all of my vegetables. So I'm just gonna cut off these ends right quick and then I can just push it right down there into the trash area. Then I'm gonna cut off these ends, okay? Now I chop it up and all I have to do for that is put it right in here as I chop it up. So I'm just keeping it all organized. And then instead of just having to leave it in a pile, I put it right there. And then when I go to cook, everything is all ready for me. And I should mention, I'm totally not a chef. I don't have any chef training, so I might not be doing all of the cooking things uh, totally properly. Um, I'm sure somebody will mention in the comments, which is fine. Feel free to tell me, but I just wanted to mention, um, I do like cooking. I especially love baking, but I'm definitely not a chef. And also, if you hear a little background noise, I have my uh, four-year-old helper here with me today. So um, he might pop in just a little bit. Now, I don't know how you're supposed to actually take this, you know, outer part off of onions, but the way that I do it is I always cut off the top and the bottom, and then I go ahead usually and put it in half, and that is when I like to, I think it's easier to take off the outer part at that point, but again, I don't know if that's like technically the most proper way to do it, but that's how I like to do it. And then I like to cut these up really fast because well, I'm probably gonna start crying. I always cry every single time that I do onions. And I'm gonna look at the recipe and see what does it tell me to do with the onions. Mm. All right, it wants me to dice it up, so we're just gonna go. Ooh, okay. A massive onion issue here. Okay, so if you're anything like me, an onion makes you cry. Oh my goodness, um, well it makes me cry. I just put it in here while I'm waiting to use it. And then I put the lid on so that I don't have more of those onion juices escaping. As you can see, there's probably like tears running down my face right now. All right, now I'm gonna use the peeler tool for the carrot. So one thing I want to mention about this little tool, in case you're curious, to like flip from which side of the tool you want to use, you actually just press in on that, kind of press in and turn at the same time. And then it locks the new tool into place. So that's how that works. Now we're going to use this thing to like slice it right in there. Super handy. And it gets you nice, pretty thin slices, which I love. I'm all about the thin slices. So I'm holding this tool right here at the bottom and this at the same time so it doesn't, so that I can actually put down pressure with this part, in case you're wondering how that works. And it works beautifully. 
and then um, I can still get this like very, whoops, very last little bit of the carrot. I just place this on here, I put this in here, and again, I'm pressing down right here and also right here, and then I was able to get that last bit of carrot that is super tricky. Think, oh, one more thing that I need to prep is these uh, herbs. And it has this little herb stripper, which honestly, until I got this, I had never used an herb stripper. I didn't really even use um, fresh herbs that much, probably because I had no clue what I was doing. Uh, but now that I got this, I actually love using the fresh herbs. It's so much easier than any other way of doing it. So just push it through the hole. Again, not a chef, but this is what I do. And it seems to work and then pull and it's going to just leave you the leaves of the herb and not the stem and then i can put those right in there so they're ready when i want to use my herb that's a look at how i use prep deck so i'll of course leave the link down below if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself or maybe for giving as a gift